Hello guys, welcome to Cinema Ultimate. This is Don't Breathe 2016 Movie Recap. The film is directed by Theta Alvarez and stars Stephen Lang. Don't Breathe 2016 is an action thriller film. This film tells the story of three thieves who break into the house of an old man. With a hope of bringing a lot of money. However, the old man was not to be underestimated. There are many tense scenes in this film. What's next? Here is a movie recap. At the beginning of the film, it is told that three thieves are carrying out theft in one of the houses of a rich man. They consist of Money who is the leader of their heist, then Rocky, she is Money's lover, who has a messy family background that forced her to commit theft. Meanwhile, Alex is an expert in breaking into house keys, because his father is a security officer so he has duplicate keys for every house along with the alarm code. This is why they are always smooth in their theft. For the sake of survival, they dare to enter the homes of the rich, to steal things that are worth less than $10,000. One time Money felt that the benefits of stealing goods were so small that he thought of stealing money instead. Then he invites Alex and Rocky to commit his theft to a war veteran who lives alone. According to information from one of the custodians, this veteran lives in a remote place in a complex that is deserted, where it was previously known that the veteran's daughter died when she was hit by a car by a rich man's daughter. Meanwhile, the suspect's family finally gave peace money of $300,000. And this money was kept in his house. That's the reason for money to commit theft again. However, Alex, who has a principle of not stealing more than $10,000, refuses the invitation because he knows the consequences if stealing that much money will end in jail. Then he left that place, knowing without Alex they both can't carry out the action, because Alex's father also has a duplicate of the key. The Rocky tries to get Alex back by telling her life story until Alex feels sorry for her, and he decides to come back. They plan to go to California after the heist is over. Arriving at the location, Money began to monitor the situation around the house around him. Really showing no signs of life, the houses looked worn and uninhabited. This means the veterans just live alone and of course it makes it easier for them to start their theft. Suddenly they were surprised by the appearance of a barking dog right in their car window and they saw the old man, who was blind. Then they leave from there. In the evening they began to act. The first thing they did was to anesthetize the dog that was barking at them, by giving the dog a piece of meat that had been mixed with sleeping pills. When they felt it was safe then they tried to enter through the back door. However, they found another problem where the trellis door could not be broken because Alex only had one key. Finally Rocky decided to enter through the small window upstairs. But it triggers the alarm in the house to go off. Then Alex and Rocky find a way to deactivate the alarm with a tool that has been prepared in advance. And they manage to get into the old man's house. After entering, they immediately searched for where the money was stored from downstairs, the dining room, the utensil area to the cupboard. Because it was not found, Money decided to go upstairs which went straight to the old man's room. He saw the old man who had been sleeping, suddenly woke up and Money put him back to sleep. Money also left the room and looked again where the money was kept. Then their eyes were fixed on one of the doors in the basement. The door was locked tightly with a large padlock. They thought that the money they were looking for was in it, so they tried to break into the door with a crowbar but failed. Then Money has another plan where he will shoot the lock with a gun that he has prepared. Alex, who saw it, was surprised and felt that this had gone too far and then asked Rocky to leave the house, but Rocky actually refused. Unexpectedly, the old man was already standing near them and his foot accidentally stepped on one of the pieces of the key to the lock of his room. It was right at that moment that the old man realized that he was being stolen. Money, whose intentions were known, then frantically pointed a gun at the old man and fired warning shots. As a result of his actions, the old man approached Money, then reversed the situation by strangling Money and took his gun. The old man asked how many people entered his house. Money said that he came alone but the old man shot Money dead instead. Rocky was scared seeing this and immediately went upstairs to the dressing room and hid there crying. While Alex who heard it at that moment, then accidentally, he ran into the old man and almost ran into him. There the old man accidentally stepped on the broken glass on the floor. Then the old man closed the broken glass and the front door which had been opened. Rocky tells Alex her current position, at the same time she sees the old man entering the dressing room and it turns out that is where the safe is stored with the safe code access. The old man checked his safe to make sure the money was safe. Rocky, who saw it, knew the code for the safe. 
After the old man came out, Alex went over to Rocky, and quickly took all the money that was in the safe. It was known that the money was not worth 300,000, the money reached 1 million dollars. Then they took everything and rushed out of the house through the basement. When they arrived at the basement, the old man accidentally found two pairs of shoes, which means the old man knew that there were other people in his house. Then he went straight back to the dressing room, and sure enough the money was gone in an instant. The old man looked annoyed by him. Alex and Rocky are still looking for an exit to get out of the house. Then they were surprised by the sudden appearance of someone. They found a woman tied with a bell and the sound of the bell reached the old man, which meant the thief was already in the basement. There Rocky and Alex are confused as to why the woman is bound. Long story short, they found out that the woman was named Cindy, the person who had hit the old veteran's daughter. Then Cindy showed me the door key with the access code. At that time they were confused between helping or leaving Cindy. Then they decided to let Cindy go and take her with them. They immediately rushed to the exit indicated by Cindy. However, after the door was successfully opened, it turned out that the old man was already waiting there and shot straight at them. As a result the shot hit Alex's ear and the woman right in the face. How sad the old man was to know Cindy died. Annoyed, the old man relocked the door permanently and searched for them. Alex and Rocky immediately ran to find a way out. Instantly Alex was almost caught by the old man, but in the end they managed to get out of the cellar, then jammed the door with a crowbar. Suddenly there was a dog waiting for him at the end of the hall and they ran into the upstairs room and held the door with the cupboard there. Alex asks Rocky to escape through the airways and activates the alarm to call the police. Surprisingly, the old man came back and tried to get into the room and suddenly Alex was attacked by the dog out of the window. However, it turned out that Alex was still alive then he ran and tried to activate the alarm in the house to call the police. But, unfortunately he met the old man again and it seems that this time Alex will not escape. Alex is cornered in the laundry room, then he fights the old man until the fight makes the washing machine run noisy. Alex who could not match the strength of the old man gave up and let him take a large pair of scissors and then stabbed Alex. While Rocky had fallen, she slowly got out. And when she was about to leave, suddenly the old man came and pulled her down, then hit her and strangled her until she passed out. Soon Rocky realized, she was already at the place where Cindy was bound. She replaced the woman who had been bound. The old man told her that in the stomach the woman who hit his daughter was pregnant his baby. However, even though it was like that, he never impregnated the woman, but inserted his own sperm manually with a tool that had been prepared. He did this with the excuse of replacing his dead daughter. He felt unfair because the rich family was not put in prison. However, all of that was absurd because Cindy was dead and that meant Rocky had to take her place. Then this old man took his sperm which had been prepared in a tube on the other side. While the old man is getting ready to put sperm into Rocky's womb. Surprisingly Alex, who was still alive, suddenly came hitting the old man on the head with a hammer until he fell and then tied him up. Then the old man asked them to go with the money. When they were about to leave the door, Alex was suddenly shot from behind which the old man managed to escape from his bonds. This time Alex really died. Rocky is scared seeing that, then runs fast towards her car. But the old man's dog followed her, causing the bag containing the money to fall. Instead of going straight away, Rocky thought of how to get the money back. Immediately Rocky had the idea to trap the dog by putting it in the car. Then suddenly old man comes from behind and attacks Rocky. Rocky is brought back to the old man's house. Rocky who started to wake up slowly activated the house alarm with the remote in Alex's hand and the alarm automatically called the police. The sound of the alarm made the old man's ears hurt until Rocky immediately hit the old man with a crowbar and fell into the basement. The old man fainted. Rocky managed to get out of the house before the police arrived. Long story short, Rocky and her younger sister are already at the airport. Rocky accidentally saw the news about the theft that occurred at the veteran's house, which turned out to be the old man is still alive. And the surprising thing, the old man only suffered a slight injury and he gave a statement that nothing of his belongings was stolen. Immediately Rocky realized that actually the old man still had a conscience. Then Rocky and her sister went to California. And the film is over. Okay guys. If you like our channel, support us with subscribe and turn on the bell, like, comment, and share. So that you don't miss our next video and our channel can grow even more. See you guys.